Physics. Oh, so physics. <laughs> What's a why being the yeah, question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta call the meeting though because we didn't know when you guys were, show were yeah. showing up. So just give me a minute or two. No worries. Get them not to go into that state in the first yeah. place. Oh, yeah. So why do you folks yeah. walk people around? Um, you want to talk about? Well, Chris, Chris kind of is the one who's like, you know, said to get people up and walking around, whatever, because yeah. like it just keeps them from falling back into that state where like they just want to like pass right out and like, you know, usually die, I guess, yeah. right? But you want to get them up and alert and awake and like not falling asleep. And yeah. it just gets the respiratory system, you know, up and going again. And yeah. It wasn't just better that so way, So stick right? with them. Just make sure they're alert, yeah. you know. Like Walk no. around with them. <laughs> Until they, you know, can do so on their own. Yeah. Court, yeah. Which is difficult a lot of the time um, because they don't want to. Yeah. And they're not awake to do that. But at the same time, if you can manage to do that, you can, you're avoiding a situation where... And they usually pass over it re relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot easier than an Narcan emergency. That way they don't um, end up becoming sick after as I understand it right like yeah you know and they really appreciate they're very appreciative after yeah. that they didn't end up in the hospital or like whatever yeah. they're not in the middle of like a bunch of cops and shit like that with you know right so they I think that they they particularly like appreciate it it's like um but they I mean I'm surprised that we don't that's that's not more common knowledge it seems yeah, to me no. like a like a, they should almost even teach it in school or something like if if you find, come across somebody that appears to be using dope, well, get them walking around because that's going to save their life, right? Yeah. I got some beautiful, respectful pictures of that too, of that going happening. Oh, good. Right on. I, I said, what's going on? They somebody explained that. I was like, right on. So I got some pictures where it's back, some people walking away, but they're walking right down the aisle. And it's just so the question I had too was another one. So when you're walking a person around, after an overdose and maybe that 20 minute mark hits like the this fellow was saying and they start showing signs again if to call okay. 911 yeah. or whatever just so that they can bring them to the hospital in case that happens okay right? because they can drop again afterwards right? I'm, okay i've but, never yeah, actually I mean, no, dealt with that situation myself where but i mean they, the culture says that you stay with your friends until they are completely yeah 100 okay exactly good i mean and that's just that's the norm and if somebody doesn't do that they're risking their friend's life exactly yeah. and yeah. uh they yeah. should be educated and well like strongly educated like yeah <coughs> because that's not acceptable yeah cool uh is, you know, if you're using with somebody, it's your responsibility to, to make sure and vice versa, you know, um, and um, I know that th because it's not widely known that that's not happening sometimes and, and that's uh, it's not a safe way to use, it's, that's the way people can go down and um, there's been, an, you know, it's already been way too many this year and previous years, so yeah, totally street deaths are preventable yeah. and we're doing a big part here to do that. Yep. Exactly. Somebody arrested as a result because he was in breach of his of his conditions. So we do not call them. That is our policy, and like it's like unless it's necessary. But people attending to him, you know, if he doesn't revive after three to five Narcan shots, because you know we know like we are experienced as we know what to do better than the cops and the paramedics do often because they give a start to give somebody CPR without giving them breaths. Yeah. You have to give them breaths because <laughs> they probably haven't breathed for a while <laughs> before you start. Maybe, yeah, before you give them Narcan and, and before, you don't need to do the CPR on them because the Narcan yeah. works like 100% of the time. You yeah. just have to keep on giving them shots, like a free load line. CPR is only effective, I was told by a paramedic, if your heart stopped. People here, if they had their own home and they're living in their own home, in their own privacy, their own home, and they had Narcan kits and someone overdosed and they use a Narcan kit and they save a life, no one ever finds out about it. When they need to call the ambulance, they do. That's what I understand. And it sounds like the tent city people here are asking the police to stop being outside their tent, to stop waiting for probable cause. We're not about to endanger anybody's life at all. No, no. Well, you guys have saved how many lives do you think? I mean, it's hard Lots. to I know I heard 40 at least since seven months. Yeah, and if you look at those SORs, they're not so successful. Yeah, and you people know? feel that Metal Mikey would not be dead if he was at 10 city A lot of night. people wouldn't be dead if, if we had this last year, a lot. Yeah.